Hello everyone, we are live and it is Thursday, live lesson here on ukula on the ground.com. My name is Aldrin Guerrero, joined by Mr. Aaron, the voice doctor for us. Say what's up, Aaron. What's up? And by Kahai, the legend Ferguson. Say what's up, Kahai. What's up? So this Thursday live lesson, what we do here is we answer any and all of your questions. We get questions throughout the week via email, via messages, via whatever it is, via, hey, how's it going, Aldrin? You know, we answer all of those. Kahai will... Uh, um, tell me what the what the question is. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Aaron and Kai will chime in. We'll try to come up with the best possible answer for you. And if we don't have questions and stuff, we like to just kind of discuss ukulele. We like to talk about all things ukulele, and especially today. In today's episode, we are going to be um, showing our original compositions because uh, two weeks ago we did the songwriting challenge. So this uh, this today this Thursday is going to be when it's due. So do you guys have your uh, songs ready for today and oh, no, i'm not doing it right now but i just want to make sure you guys got your songs ready yeah got your Kahai, ready? yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Kahai posted his already oh so snap <laughs> okay well, it's, it's for other us. than of us oh. have heard it no okay. uh, Actually, i have not heard I, it. I, I didn't post it to the forum i just put it on youtube mm -hmm. for mm. a very specific reason oh, oh okay so, okay yeah. so i'm excited uh, for that but you know let's uh let's get on with the show and let's see if we have any questions to answer Kahai. Uh, Renee just asked, or mm. Renee, you know, like just in the uh, mm. the chat, she said, "Hello, friends. I just bought my three day Denver Uke Fest pass. Nice. I have never been to Swallow Hill. Do you stay mm. in Lakewood or Denver? Too many options. Oh, we stay in Denver. Um, how well, far actually, is Lakewood? I don't know. No, no. Well, because like Swallow Hill is actually on the outskirts of mm, Denver, Denver, so I'm not exactly sure where everything yeah. is there. We stayed at the <clears throat> um." Was that re? That's with an R because they call it rock and roll re, Ramada. <laughs> That's where we stayed at. No, well, that so, was a, a few one times ago. Yeah. So that wasn't that wasn't. The that's location. right. We stayed at different like different yeah. hotels and stuff. But um, yeah, that wasn't the location. I only remember that because that's that's the lobby that I got. A hug. <laughs> I got a hug from Kina Gratis. Why you, <laughs> oh. why, why you got a jealous guy? Yeah, see, jealous? see, that was held at <laughs> a different. Right, that was a different location. Was, that wasn't Swallow Hill. No, that wasn't oh. Swallow Hill. Oh. Yeah, I will but, forever but, remember that hotel. That I, I remember it clearly, like it was yesterday. I was still <laughs> in the lobby, and I saw her, and I was like, "Why do birds suddenly appear?" I that know my is... wife is like at home somewhere, but this is Keena Grant. We're talking about every time. <laughs> can you? She is near. Can you make that joke? Because you actually play that that song for your wedding. Hey, you know what? <laughs> birds always appear. When that they're beautiful women. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, I'm just, without joking aside, aren't you, aren't was, you, you're lucky that Heather does not listen to oh, this yeah, podcast. She's, <laughs> whatever. She's, she's scared. If she was on this podcast, she would be talking about John Legend the same exact way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it goes both ways. Yeah, it's all the celebrities, guys. It's the unattainable ones. Yeah. But if I'm like, oh, this girl at this bar the other night, like, why do birds? Like, hey, hey, that's a little no, <laughs> too much, no, too, too much. much. It's kind of attainable. <laughs> like. Like wait for you know wait for the golden yeah exactly treasure, exactly you know what I mean like because you know yeah mm -hmm. yeah and the table stuff like like Keena Grabs this yeah she's, <laughs> she's great I'm a big fan I, mean, I like Valentine's did she stuff. did she so you guys met her there did, was she a part of like uh, the yeah she was she was the headliner because it was oh. supposed to be Z of V I don't know if you guys remember um what was her YouTube name it wasn't Z of V it was something else but um she did. Um, yeah, she was pretty popular back then, and um, mm -hmm. she was touring and stuff. And I guess, um, I, I, from what I heard, I don't want to say that this is the actual story. And yeah. so, what I heard, she was having like some passport issues, so she couldn't come. And Kina Granis, um, she was also, I guess, known for the ukulele. She's played ukulele in some of her videos, and um, she got replaced as a headliner. And then I, I turned to Aaron and I was like, "Man, Kina Granis is gonna be there." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna." I'm I'm gonna hug her and it's gonna be amazing and I and it was and it was but awesome. She <laughs> but she um cool. actually was in that Crazy Rich Asian. Yeah, yeah, she right? was. Yeah, oh, I didn't. See I saw it, the scene. I saw but, the scene. Oh yeah, yeah. But she, I, I didn't see the movie, but I saw the scene. Was in it. Is she? Mm -hmm. Is so she a crazy rich Asian <laughs> uh, in the movie? Well, she's. Oh, she's made bag before. I don't know if she's like rich and stuff. I'm but sure she's the, doing okay. In the movie, <laughs> in the movie is, right. she, is she that? Or mm -hmm. are they like? Is, is she, she Keena Grannis in the movie? Like, mm -hmm. what is she? Does she play a character in the movie, or I, I don't know. It oh, was just, just like it was just a scene. I, I, I've never seen the. Yeah, I just saw yeah. a clip of, of you know of that. I was like, yeah. oh, hey, it's it's Keena. You know, it's, it's my friend. I can say that guy because we're like friends. Close, and stuff. Close yeah, that close movie was friend. was kind of just like um, 
They're like, we finally made it, Asians. Everybody <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, good job. It's cool. Come yeah. in. The, you yeah, know, the whole cast everybody. from yeah. uh, Fresh Off the Boat. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. just come, everyone. It's everyone. basically like, like, oh, we're going to take a group picture. Everybody. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Party <laughs> and Asians in Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. See, we can say that because we're Asians. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Kai yeah. can't make that joke. People don't yeah. know what Kai is. <laughs> <laughs> Ferguson is not. <laughs> Ferguson. <laughs> Very <laughs> not a last name. Very... All right. So, um, <laughs> so as far as um, as far as Denver Youth Fest goes, um, I don't know. You just look for uh, look for Swallow Hill on you know on the map and stuff. Whatever the closest you can get, usually um, is is the best place to go. I wouldn't go too far, um, you know, from uh, from the venue, but it's not too bad. I mean, Denver, it's not like that much traffic, is it? Uh, I don't know. It's not usually too bad, but it, mm -hmm. it is like you know, it's not mm -hmm. in like mm -hmm. De Denver Metro, so you shouldn't get anything really. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Swallow Hill is kind of outside of that. Wait, we're we're skipping the fact that we might be able to meet Renee, yeah, or we will be able to meet Renee. Yeah. Oh, cool. the, uh, yeah, right on. So we've been teaching Renee for you know for a while now. It's really cool to like kind of put some you know put some faces and finally see and meet you know the people that. Are, are on our site i know um like alan fast so you're gonna yeah. get to meet alan fast and some yeah or uh, kahai will finally get to oh yeah that's meet, right kahai yeah alan so because... mm -hmm. kahai will meet alan renee will meet you know kahai it's, it's gonna be great so kahai is gonna come with it he alan. rarely comes on tour with us and this time he's, he's gonna be there alan really is like i've been talking to him mm -hmm. for years now <laughs> like online <laughs> never, and I've never never <laughs> face to face yeah. yeah like on webcam and stuff yeah, but yeah. never yeah so i'm, I'm pretty excited yeah, you know, cool. it, it'll be cool to go to Denver Youth Fest, but yeah, I'm fascinated. Nice. <laughs> the no, Denver Denver reason Fest why great. you're coming with us. Yeah, yeah, I've been like you know, trying to like strengthen my lungs because it's like it's <laughs> so hard to breathe there and stuff. Like I, I feel like I don't, and and it's it's true. I don't put on the same show in Denver as I put on here, you know, at home for many reasons. And one of the <laughs> biggest reasons is because it's hard to breathe there. Um, you know, like singing and just like doing like the high energy stuff is is kind of tough so i have to kind of <laughs> you gotta use make the, sure the training mask mm -hmm. the altitude training mask <laughs> while i'm on stage right? you have to mm -hmm. you have to go in the pool and then you have to sit under the pool and play yeah. ukulele with the water mask and... Devin is a star too we were talking about we met Devin uh, back in you know like october or he was in uh uh what was that place called what the one before auburn auburn yeah he was also in auburn right and um and then we saw him in october in san francisco as well so we see a lot of cool like uu plus members even just the regular ukulele underground members and stuff it's it's always fun it's always fun to like kind of meet people last night uh, we saw lao gao <laughs> we haven't seen lao gao in forever another long-term yeah. member yep yeah. another long-term member he used to be pretty um active and stuff and he just retired he's gonna move to hawaii and stuff yeah and so he was so stoked he said he was yeah. gonna play more ukulele <laughs> yeah more ukulele. that he's retired so <laughs> So looking forward to seeing more stuff from Laoga. But we've met him before, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's come here to Kauai before and seen us. And um, it was just nice to see him again. I didn't recognize him. You recognized him. No, well, when I walked in, I saw him and I, I knew that his mm -hmm. face was familiar. And then he mm -hmm. kind of introduced himself afterwards. And I was like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Did he, did he use his username, Laoga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's... I don't know if, if he was like, oh... You know, this is my real name. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, really talking about the, the oxygen. See, it's tough to, um, we don't want to show it on stage because it's, you know, it's a performance. It's supposed to be like, you know, um, it's like an escape kind of, you know, like people just, just, we, our job is to get you lost in the music. And if we're having a hard time, like breathing or like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, huh, and I'm going, yeah. Huh, yeah. Huh. If you're worried about the, the performer, <laughs> you know, like it's yeah. If I'm worried about breathing, then the performance uh, suffers and stuff. So we have to make like nothing's wrong and just keep going. So <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Any other questions, guy? Uh, so Kevin said uh, he's been practicing slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs. Yeah. And his fingertips hurt again, like when he, he first started uh, six mm. months ago. Mm -hmm. Is this normal? And how long do, uh, until my calluses get calluses? Um, if you already have calluses and stuff, and um, I'm guessing if you're, you know, if you're 
doing these <clears throat> techniques, you're like, uh, you didn't get the calluses where the techniques, you know, would get calluses. Because if you're just playing chords and stuff, then, um, you know, the way that you shift your fingers, so you guys can see it on camera right here, and that's why you should subscribe to UU Plus, is uh, <laughs> if you're shifting your fingers this way, just to, you know, play your chords, just the, you know, this part of the tip of your fingers get the callus, all right? It's kind of tough to see there, but, you know, you're, uh, you're kind of, hitting it from that angle. So if you're doing these, um, you know, if you're doing these techniques, see how much higher it is than if I played it here. See where uh, where my ring finger hits the string versus right here where my ring finger hits the string. It's more, uh, I can, I'll make an indentation here on my, uh, my finger. So this is where it is. Uh, can you want to focus so that people yep. can kind of see? So this is where, it, where I would hit it. Oh, uh, right. there, there it is. That's where I would hit it when I'm just playing a chord. So you see the line there, made an indentation. And this is where I would hit it if, I, if I'm doing the uh, hammer on, which is down here. See that? So, so yeah, like slightly, slightly lower. Closer you know, there's to like, the pad of the <clears throat> finger <throat> instead of the Because it's, it's this versus <clears throat> this. So you're creating new calluses. It's not like you're putting calluses on top of your calluses and that's what's going to help. Uh, you know, like uh, help you do these techniques. Um, you have to develop new calluses like you know that that you didn't have before so you might have them just a little bit on you know on that side but you need to kind of cover you know this uh, this finger a little bit more and um, that's why most of my calluses are on this side of my finger rather than this side because this side doesn't really get that much action you know it's mostly this side so uh, if I were to you know to play an instrument where it would you know, require me to use this side of my uh, this side of my fingers. I was playing um, the the Venovo not too you know not too long ago. I'm not saying it hurts or anything, but it just it's a new sensation for me. Like because uh, it's, like a, it's like a clarinet, it's like yeah. a woodwind kind of clarinet saxophone hybrid <clears throat> thing. And I'm playing this way, and um, you know it's using up the the parts of the pad of my fingers that I don't normally use. And I'm like, okay, this is a new feeling. And I could just imagine if I were you know if I were to do like ukulele techniques on that part of my finger and I would think it, you know it would, it would hurt and if you're asking how long it just depends like it you know I can't I can't be like oh it's gonna take two weeks and then two weeks later you're like it's not here yet it's different for everyone you know but um it shouldn't take that long right um yeah and it's yeah. just kind of part of it just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just don't go don't until overdo it's it. super yeah. uncomfortable you yeah, can, don't overdo it yeah. you can also like this is kind of gross you can also like rip your calluses off and like or like your calluses can naturally like fall off yeah yeah and yeah. then you it's kind of like baby skin right like it's mm -hmm. brand new and <clears throat> i know when that happens to me it's like oh my fingertips are super sensitive mm -hmm. where it's like i can't i could go like you know an hour and a half playing and i'm like oh yeah i'm, I'm okay and then it's like, oh, 30 minutes, my fingertips feel raw again. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It's kind it's, of always building. It's kind of like yeah. a reptile where you have to <laughs> shed, shed it. Yeah. <laughs> you get some new ones. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I <throat> noticed that too. If like, you know, if I mm. go swimming or if I had my hands in water for mm. a while, it'll... Or mm. or like a, whatever, a sauna or some something it's like not, that. that kinda, <laughs> it's not like super bad where it's like, you know, it's like all bloody or something. No, yeah, it just kind of just flicks off. Yeah, like you can kind of peel it like off. Like skin, and, mm -hmm. old skin. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've told this uh, the story before, I think on a Thursday, where like I heard somewhere like on the internet, I don't know if it's true or not, like uh, John Mayer would like take, you know, like super glue and just like put it on his fingers yeah, before I've heard show. Yeah. You've heard of that? Well, and I've heard like, other musicians do that. Yeah, too. so to, and, and, and they did that. There was, um, there was one... Um, there was one show, I think it was before we started kind of playing, I think it was with Ryan and stuff, that um, it was, I was just playing so much that like, uh, it started peeling like you were saying, but mm -hmm. then it peeled too much that like I lost the callus like altogether. So one of the fingers, I had to heed that advice, put some like, uh, put some super glue on. I'm not saying that you guys should do this. Yeah, I'm just saying that like, that there was a time that, that's kind of an extreme, but... <laughs> yeah. you know, kind of extreme way. I'm not. So we yeah. have to say that Ukla on the ground does not that. condone, you know, putting super <laughs> super glue on your fingers. But I had have to do that one time, and like in, a, in that case of an emergency. I think it was in the middle of a tour, and um, I had a few more shows left, and my finger was just not gonna make it, you know. Uh -huh. And um, I think no, it was that uh, it was that tour where like I was playing so much, and like my my thing shrank, my um. Your my fretboard my fretboard itself. shrank, yeah. and the um, the fret wires were like cutting my fingers, and it was like mm -hmm. the, it was just 
cutting it off, so I just like kept peeling because it was uh, just you know I thought yeah I thought mics were like biting my fingers. I've never <laughs> told this story before, and I put super glue on it just so that like okay, it I got just gotta make yeah. it to you know to that, the next show, and then the next show. That kind of reminds me too that that might be a thing too. Um, I don't know what kind of ukulele Kevin has, mm. but if it has like high frets or frets that are just like very sharp, mm. kind of. And doing slides, mm-hmm. it, he might be yeah, irritating maybe. his fingers, you know, more yeah. so. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it just it, not not super likely, but that might be it. Yeah. yeah, like there there is just times where fret wires are just like it's because of edge, right? Mm-hmm. Like and it just gets mm-hmm. sharp. So yeah, yeah, it, it could be that too, you know. And yeah. that kind of like the more you play it, the bigger your calluses get, and then mm-hmm. it gets easier. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So oh, Jim uh, Jim says that there's a product in Australia called plastic skin or referred to as plastic mm-hmm. skin for medical use mm-hmm. and um i guess yeah. it's uh pump, pump spray. spray i don't there there is like a liquid uh band-aid a liquid band-aid mm-hmm. yeah here too where you can kind of oh, just, just kinda paint paint up. on mm. and it'll kind of seal a wound yeah. so that works in a similar way <laughs> kind of the opposite story i so I, gosh <laughs> I, there is no getting away from revealing how nerdy I am on this show, right? <laughs> like, I, I, the I magic, build, the cards, yeah. Yeah, I build plastic models too. I build plastic like Gundam models, uh-huh. and you use try to be cool now, guys. Use, <laughs> use, 2019, no, I'm trying to be cool. No, you use super glue for that, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. And so I got super glue on the tips of my fingers, mm-hmm. but what ended up happening was like the opposite, where when the super glue came off, it ripped my calluses off. Oh. Too. So, so yeah. yeah, it's like oh, yeah. that try to of... go all natural whenever <laughs> possible, yeah. and then only in extreme situations. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. a little extreme. We don't condone doing that, but I just thought yeah. it would be I, for a good story. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one I wasn't doing it on purpose though. Mm-hmm. Like putting oh, yeah. super glue, I just like you know just you accidentally spilled yeah, it, just, and it's yeah. like oh, it's on my calluses, and then yeah. it's like oh, I don't have calluses anymore. <laughs> yeah, there they go. So yep. funny. Yeah, it's um, and it kind of sucks. There was also one time I had just gotten a um, like a new SLR camera that I bought from Costco one, like one Christmas when it was on sale, and um, I bought like this tiny tripod, and you know, like I hate those like those tripods where like there's just a the little nub that like stops it in place, mm-hmm. and then you gotta push the knob like the little nub for it, and then like and then yeah, yeah. It, you know, like yeah. adjust the thing, so it just was stuck. Mm-hmm. And to see where this is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, do you remember that? Like, I um, I think I had to cancel that week of that show because, like, um, uh, it like just chopped off like uh, my uh, my my finger. It was my my middle finger. I don't know if you can see, but there's like it's still straight there. Kind of have a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I chopped off a little bit of my finger, like from you know from that camera, like I was just like trying to force it close, you know, the other stand and stuff. And it went like that, and I just chopped it off, and I'm like, I can't play. It. <laughs> and I tried to like play with a with, like with a band aid on and stuff, and it just wasn't working. It was just bleeding I, through the band aid. Uh, gross. <laughs> I feel like musicians try to be cool, right? They're like, mm. look at my my calluses on my hand from playing so much. <laughs> But then at the same time, you know, like if they, they do something where like their hand gets a cut or something, you're like, oh no! Ouchie! Oh, 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 I need to My stitches. nail broke. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a real thing. <laughs> my nail broke. Yeah, my nail broke. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, it, it hurt. And like it, it bled and stuff. And I was at a friend's house. So it was, um, we were all hanging out at Juno's house. Juno's been on the uh, on, on the lessons before mm-hmm. and stuff. She was uh, in uh, uh, La Vie and Rose. Yeah, and... La Vie and Rose. And we were like trying to film like us jamming and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh, I just bought this new camera. You don't want to try out this new camera mm-hmm. and stuff. And uh, I was like, let me get a set of. Uh, oh, I guess we're not playing tonight. <laughs> They're like, what? What videos were from that night? I was like, there wasn't any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Any Any other questions? Go ahead. Uh, Any questions throughout the week? Yeah, uh, Alex oh. asked. Um, let me see. Uh, if you don't have time for a decent practice or lesson, what would you suggest doing with your ukulele for five to fifteen minutes? Mm. Um, <laughs> play a song. Yeah, play a song. Play a song. Honestly, because you can uh, you can practice without your ukulele. And I think we've talked about that before and stuff on this show. Um, you know, there are some stretches and warm ups and stuff that you can kind of condition your hands. Um, I think. Um, Mike was here we we're talking about warm-ups and stuff and warming up your hands you can always do that throughout your day and you don't need to you know uh, you don't need your ukulele for that but if you only have five ten minutes I 
I would suggest you just enjoy the five, 10 minutes. Don't worry about practice and stuff and just play your ukulele, have fun with it. Because if you're, if you only have five, 10 minutes and you spend it on like practicing something or like trying to work on stuff, then like you didn't have fun at all with your you, you know, like that, uh, that day. And I would rather have fun with my you than like worry about practice because you can practice at any time. Even if you're driving and stuff, we've ta talked about, you know, if you have your hand on the steering wheel, so imagine, imagine this is the steering wheel and just taking your, you know, your fingers, just placing it on top and just like slowly like trying to uh, like stretch yeah. them out like this and that'll stretch out your, you know, your fingers you or on your roll. Yeah, you can work yeah. on your roll that way, you know, and, um, and some, you know, sometimes if I'm if I'm on the wheel, so this is the wheel right here, and so I just have my thumb and I just do this. Oh, I need to kind of just do this. You practice picking. Yes, yeah, practice just, picking. Yeah, the thumb. And uh, or just moving my you know, moving my hands in general. And um, you know, I can also practice my chord shapes like while while I'm driving. You know, if I know that this is my G chord shape. So I don't need to, you know, need an ukulele for that. C chord shape, F chord shape, so on and so forth. B flat, like, you know, diminished and stuff while I'm driving. I'm listening to, like, a Kyle Crater Boys album, and I can't play along because I'm driving, and that's dangerous. So, like, you uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I would, like, kind of drive, and I would have my fingers, like, do this, like, weird thing. Hope nobody notices. Now people are going to look at my hands when I'm driving. Now. <laughs> like, um yeah, sometimes I do that and it just kind of like, uh, or like strum like this, you know, strum the steer steering wheel and stuff. And it's just, you can practice at any time. So that's what I would suggest is to have fun with the five, 10 minutes that you have with your ukulele. There's a, there's a video of this uh, bass player mm -hmm. and he's on the train. And so he did this experiment where on his train ride home, I don't know exactly where he's going or what's going on. He didn't have, he couldn't play his bass, right? Mm -hmm. So he just pulled up sheet music and he pulled up the music to listen to. Mm -hmm. And he just practiced on his arm, like the fingering. Mm, and it's yeah. a song he never played before. He's mm. never practiced or mm. done anything. And he got home. And when he got home, he set up the camera. And he's like, let me see if I can actually play this song yeah. now. And he, he did it. He like got mm. all the way through. And he's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't yeah. actually yeah, need my yeah, bass yeah, to yeah, do bass. this. Yeah. So, so, so even that, like if you mm -hmm. pull up some chords for a song, listen to the song, hold the chords mm -hmm. in the air or whatever against mm -hmm. your arm or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, and then see once once you get your get to a place where you can play your ukulele try yeah, it yeah so. and then you do it <laughs> yeah I, i'm like constantly like doing this like oh. just with my pants like oh shorts, yeah yeah like we're like strumming not sure but it's going like kind of like this but he's just like strumming on his pants yeah oh, and it's like pants, you, know, pants. <laughs> you know i'm I'm, all, I'm always listening to music so mm -hmm. it's like why not like you play the play yeah. along to the rhythm yeah, 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 or yeah. something it's just yeah. practicing your rhythm mm -hmm. yeah Cool. So that's you know that's my best advice, and I guess you know the guys agree and stuff. So next, um, we actually we had this question, but uh, Lisa said you already kind of answered it, but maybe we can talk about it a little bit more. Okay. Um, she said, "Do you know if there is a way you can think of chords faster when transposing, or do you just need to practice it?" Oh yeah, yeah. I answered um, I answered Lisa during our uh, during our lesson. So we had a private lesson. I believe it was Monday. And um, I talked about the numbers and like in you know the numbers and then the and the alphabet basically. So you know in the alphabet you have A to G in the musical alphabet, right? Um, even, no matter what key you're in, I always just like to think about the alphabet and then worry about the flats and sharps later. So uh, if you know if I'm playing in C for example in the chords of C F G, okay? So C F G. I'm in the key of C, so I go C D E F G A B C, right? So I go so if C number one, yeah. number all of them. Number all of them. So C <clears throat> and C D E F. That's four. C D E F G. That's five. So one, four, and five. So now, if I'm in the key of uh, of A, for example, in the key of A, what you know, if A B C D E F G, and that's like or E G A. Yeah, it'll be A. So A B C D E F G A. Not worried about the sharps or flats and stuff. So A, you know, that's that's one. One. A B C D. So D. D A B C D E would be five. So A D E. And then I can worry about the sharps and flats later. So I would just kind of play it. A D and E. If it sounds good, then it's like then. I guess I don't need sharps or flats and stuff. But for mm -hmm. example, if I have something like F, I want to do it in F. So what is the one, four, and five of F? So F, G, A, B, C, right? That's five. F, B, one. F, G, A, B, B, number four. F, G, A, B, C. So I have F, B, and C. So I have F. So that already sounds kind of weird, right? So 
I can't, this is, this is my B chord, by the way. And I know that it can't be B sharp because that would be C. We already have that later on. B, B sharp and C is the same, you know, same chord. So it has to be B flat. So F. And it's yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <clears throat> so if you think about it in just the alphabets and, and numbers and stuff, then you're uh, you're golden. <laughs> and yeah. you can figure out the sharps and flats later, but figure out just the you know the the basic like letter. Well, mm -hmm. well, even if like you do that, <laughs> you, like uh -huh. your example of like you can't go up right because you you already have C. Uh huh. It's kind of good because you can go up and you can find out like if you don't have you know that it's like oh this you know this chord works like moving up half a step and then it also moves like working like moving down half a step mm -hmm. and like finding the four and the five right yeah that's yeah. like really quick it's like the same chord shape and you just see if it plays two frets down or two mm -hmm. frets up mm -hmm. so. because uh four and five are are <laughs> always going to be a step like you know apart so meaning if uh you know if it was B flat. That means the next one's gonna be C, because it's, it's like one step, you know, from uh, from B flat. Yeah, and, and you can kind of like if you know mm -hmm. like one major chord, right? Mm -hmm. You can kind of do that test, like oh, so it's like I know there's a C in the song. Is there a D in the, a D major in the song? Mm -hmm. No. Is there a B flat in the song? No. So mm -hmm. if it's only that C major, then yeah. it has to be in the key of C, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like and then the the four and the five. Like this is it might seem like a lot. But then that's kind of like the shortcuts that musicians take, right? Yeah. Is like yeah. when you're testing something, you just mm -hmm. go like, oh, up a half, this work? down half, work? no, work? and then yeah. it's like, oh, okay, yeah. then you just narrow it down right. to like, oh, it's this key. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, there's there's lots of cool little like shortcuts that you can do, but that's the best um, that I, you know, that's the shortest, honestly, that I can uh, that I can come up with right now. It's just alphabet numbers, you know, and you don't have to count higher than A. If you can count to eight, if you can say the alphabet to G, you're all good, you know. I, yeah. I think the best practice too mm -hmm. is just learn more songs, right? Yeah. Like the more songs you learn, the more you see like the more you see different like uh, chord progressions and stuff, and and how they repeat. But yeah. almost like the same patterns, so, right? Mm -hmm. Like you yeah. recognize like oh, or, this... or you could do it with chord shapes too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like if you went if you played like your G, F, G. like G G C D, you yeah. can keep doing that. You can move that up one G like, sharp. Mm -hmm. Chord yeah, shapes. it's basically yeah. that. So it's kind of so it's in a it's in a new key, but you're yeah. using the same chord shape. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a revelation where it's like, oh, this is new, you know, mm -hmm. technically new, mm -hmm. but I already know this. But right? yeah, like I know the chord shapes <laughs> yeah. and all this stuff. That right? that, yeah. that term, movable chord shape. I remember doing the uke minute for that. I was like, what do we call this? It's like I can move this up, and it's I can like move the, this chord. I can move this chord shape, like yeah. you know, up and down. It's like different chords. Like let's when, call it movable chord shape. That's that's a fun one too, because <laughs> uh, when I had to organize like the uke minutes, yeah. There's movable chord shapes with M O V E A B L E, and then there's movable with M O V A B L E. So it's like, up, oh, yeah. yep. There's yeah. both, and I'm like, well, if we could do movable chord shapes, we could do movable. Uh, was it like scale shapes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we yeah. just minor, major shapes, minor shapes, seventh mm -hmm. shapes. Like it's basically <laughs> the same concept. That's but, that's kind of why <laughs> like beginners get kind of mm -hmm. caught up on like individual keys and chords mm -hmm. and notes, right? Mm -hmm. But then as you advance more, it becomes less. There's of, a lot of patterns. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just think mm -hmm. of and, it in shapes and patterns. And then that's why you'll hear musicians too say like, "Oh, it's the one for five instead of saying specific chords, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't. They're like, oh, I don't really care. Like, what yeah. if it's a made B flat <laughs> major chord? You know, it's like, no, it's a four chord. And then also, if you really want um, something to use for transposition, like if you're going to transpose, mm -hmm. we have you could also use um, your circle of fifths. fifths. So we mm -hmm. have that in the resource section. Mm -hmm. If you if you just go to my dashboard, and um, the drop down has like my resources or the resource section, and there's like a printable. Uh, kind of scrolly mm -hmm. chord family mm -hmm. generator and you, uh, you show them how to make it in some of the video you know yeah and then i kind of explained it in a video so you can just mm -hmm. watch that and see how you could transpose see how you could mm -hmm. uh figure out stuff pretty yeah. quickly yeah these questions we've 
<clears throat> just already got figured out. <laughs> like, yeah, Aaron's circle, got it. circle of fifths. So yeah. Um, let me see. Yeah. Circle of fifths. Chord I think family. Only. Yeah. You, How I use the chord family. Yeah. <laughs> and even talking about like Renee in the mm -hmm. chat, I think she she said like she printed it out and then she like decorated it and stuff mm -hmm. and then she like keeps it with her right oh, too, yeah. i think like when she goes to it's you stuff. know it's, it's easy to carry and stuff it's free you know it's, yeah it's a handy tool and yep. and the more you use it the more you kind of just mm -hmm. remember the whole thing and then mm -hmm. it just becomes easy to be like almost where it's like oh i don't need to take this out because yep. i know this key already or yeah. i know this already so. all right any uh other questions before we move on to the original tunes uh, I think that's it for today. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we do a thing here on Thursday Live Lessons where we challenge you guys on, uh, you know, we give you guys some chords and some like guidelines and stuff, mm -hmm. and you uh, you write a song based on those guidelines. You can, uh, and it's pretty loose also if you want to just take the chords, if you want to take all of our suggestions, you can. And these were the suggestions that, oh, <laughs> That uh, that we were giving. We wanted to make it a little bit easier this time around because we've been having a lot of hard ones lately. So this one is a one six four five progression in the key of F. That's all you had to do. It's a one six four five progression key of F would be F D minor B flat and C. Mm -hmm. So as long as oh, as long as you have that progression at least once in your song, then it's it, it counts, you know. And bonus is you can have lyrics and make it sound like a fifty song. So that's just bonus. You don't have to do it, but it just makes it a little bit more fun and gives you a little bit more uh, of a guide onto what kind of song to write or like where to start and stuff. Okay, so, so we did have a couple of submissions. Yeah, in the awesome. And uh, we always like to encourage you folks to, uh, to kind of do your uh, and you know, do your songs or write your songs. So today we have some coffee to give away, right, Kahai? Yeah, uh, so, like actual coffee, yeah, not yeah. lyrics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's funny. We have to, <laughs> have to clarify. We have some coffee to give away. Ooh, macadamia brittle. That sounds awesome. So macadamia. Oh man, that sounds, that sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. You just, oh, okay, macadamia brittle. Dive your nose right into their coffee. <laughs> Hawaii Coffee Roasters Company. Um, you know, we're gonna give this away to. It's it's just like a small gift and stuff. But hey, you know, it's uh, it's fun. We just like to encourage people. Artistry. It's back. It's back. It's back. <laughs> we are back. We are back. We are back. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, <laughs> coffee. Sorry so all the people that. that that put. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. It's you know we we are running on uh, paper clips and rubber bands. <laughs> and Kai is trying his best. I want a round of applause for Kai trying his best with the stream. Yeah. Thank you, Kai. For I just ruined it. Like I just threw a, threw a rock in a glass Dude. house. <laughs> Destroyed <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> We just got like new equipment too, to yeah. like yeah. make it a little bit better. And then it, <laughs> we pressed Simple. one button and then it was like off the Simple edges. touch of coffee. Yeah. Anyway, so um, you know all the people who submitted um, their uh, their videos or their songs onto onto the UU Plus forum will be eligible to win this coffee. And if you haven't written your song yet, you have until next week Thursday to uh, to get your song in, and we'll pick a winner next week for the coffee. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, we also do this challenge so to kind of give you guys an idea of uh, what what you can do or stuff that you know give you some yeah some ideas on what you can do with the Just song and with the kind chord of, progressions and stuff. Kind of to show too like how like you can have the same chord progression mm. and it can be totally different songs, yeah. right? Yeah. And we just see that with like the two people who uh, submitted songs mm. already. Mm -hmm. uh, was Daniel and Kavai. Okay. And Daniel did a song where he um it's a song about geometry i think <laughs> circles yeah. for his like i want to say nephew or like yeah. some kind of younger mm -hmm. family member to help them learn math and then kavai did like a really cool claw hammer song so oh, cool. it's like cool. even that too is vastly different mm -hmm. right? so. all right so who wants to go first uh whatever uh, yeah i'll go first i usually go first anyway, <laughs> so i'll go first um i i wrote like a verse and a chorus and stuff i don't really usually write like lyrics but I have been watching a lot of Lamb Chops play along <laughs> like, because uh, my daughter watches Lamb Chops play along and I was like, you know, I and I was listening, uh, Aaron before Christmas gave me a CD by um, Priscilla on and Priscilla on maybe songs like, you know, for like nursery, like uh, not nursery rhymes, but like songs because... like for, for babies and for kids and stuff. You can yeah. kind of sing along. A great album. If you guys have kids and stuff. Um, Priscilla on that album is so cute. It, you, is, it is awesome. Do you know what it's called, that album? <sighs> la La La. La La, yeah, uh, I think yeah. so. La La yeah. La. <laughs> so I 
I wanted to take a nursery rhyme and I wanted to um, to kind of write a song from uh, from that person's point of view. So I took the nursery rhyme "Eeny Meeny Miny Mo" because it was on Lamb Chops, you know, one 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 time, and um, and it's catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. So I'm like, I want to write a song from the tiger's point of view, you know. So in my song, it's like an old tiger. He's just He's just over it, you know, he's retired and stuff. He just wants to be left alone. And then some kid named Mo grabs his toe <laughs> and he's hollering for him to let him go. So here we go. I'm just a tiger retired. My bones are too old, I'm so tired. Stroll to the store cause retirement is boring I don't, I need to be active, not snoring But as I turned at the corner A boy and his mother were started at the side of my stripes That was the moment that Mo took my toe And he squeezed it so tight And I hollered, let me go Let me go Don't got time for this, I'm too old let me go, let me go Don't got time for this, I'm too old So let me go Let me try that again <laughs> I'm nervous I'm just a tiger, retired My bones are too old, I'm so tired Took a stroll to the store Cause retirement is boring I need to be active, not snoring but as I turned at the corner, a boy and his mother were startled at the side of my stripes. That was the moment that mo no, that was the moment that mo took my toe and he squeezed it so tight. And I hollered, "Let me go, let me go! Don't got time for this. I'm too old. Let me go, let me go." Don't got time for this, I'm too old, so let me go. <laughs> ah, I am the nice. tiger. I am an old, retired tiger. <laughs> I, I sensed some um, OP pickers in Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was very, uh, it was like a uh, wait. <laughs> very influenced by OP pickers. It's, it's, got, and... those, uh, it's got those phrases in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. So that's that's my tune. Um, yeah, I used that um, 1645 and I changed it up a little bit with some. Uh, f I went four five and then one six. So I kind of switched mm -hmm. it around where I started on the. Four. But it was like the same. It's the same progression, like but starting yeah. on mm -hmm. a different on chord. It's like the uh, mm -mm, four and five and one yeah. and then two D six minor. and then back to four five C and then one and then I went back to five. A is at C7. Yeah, yeah, C7, which is a 5. Mm -hmm. And then back to the 1, 6, 4, 5. So nice and easy. Just a like song that I sing for my daughter now. Ever since I wrote it last week, I was like, ah. She loves it. She loves it. <laughs> I have to write more songs like that. Innocent, innocent. <laughs> okay, so one's going next. Cool. Uh, you, want, you want me to go next? Or? Yeah, I kind of want to. Oh, are we going to get to see it? Uh, yeah, oh, this is a visual. So Kahai's got a. Vi I haven't. I don't know Kahai's one. I, well, I, do, I don't know either. But Kahai, oh. he said that he put the video up on YouTube, oh, and it's yeah. the video portion is <laughs> yeah. kind of like part of it. Oh yeah. So I don't okay. know. Are uh, the are the viewers gonna be able to see it? I'll put a link in um, the chat, mm -hmm. like. But I want to play you guys a song first because I okay. don't want to give it okay, away. Okay, 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 okay. okay. And then I'll, I'll I'll just show. It's not. It's not really a, vi a video, it's just like the video <laughs> placeholder that I use. Oh, okay. okay. So I'll show <laughs> so you guys there's that. There's a visual I, I that have. comes with this. And, and then, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. All right. Like a 1950s kind of. Oh, he went 50s. It's the 
first step toward being sort of good at something. <laughs> nice. I mean, it just ain't an actual thing, you know? Unless you choose to believe it. To live life, need problems. If you get everything you want the minute you want it, what's the point of living? Though lately I have been trying to be more chill about it. Cool. Like taking ice cream breaks? Yeah, and like being more sort of okay with everyone making mistakes around me. Like, mind my own stuff more. You know what I mean? I know you want to believe they are a joke. But sometimes, life is scary and dark. That is why we must find the light. And all hung up. All hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man. You see this cup? This is literally my favorite cup. <laughs> now it's gone forever, so it's not real, and I don't care about any. <laughs> That's funny. That's like a Buddhist thing, actually. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, that's, so good. that's like uh, just like audio clips from yep. Adventure Time. Yeah, yeah. but I, I specifically wanted to show Aaron <laughs> this. This is my oh, nice. video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send it to the guys in the chat. But uh, cool. <laughs> basically, like so, Aaron. Yeah, I don't know if you want to explain it, Aaron. No. Oh yeah. So so I, I like th there's a Miyazaki film, um that the Studio Ghibli or yeah yeah yeah, Ghibli. yeah they um there's a film called From Up on Poppy Hill, mm -hmm. and there is um there's just like one scene of the the girl from Up on Poppy Hill. And it reminded me of the kind of like the placeholder for um what is what is that like chill, chill music. yeah oh chill, yeah, music. chill hop stuff yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah chill hop hip, hip hop yeah. hip hop music to, to <laughs> listen relax and study to nice. or something on YouTube <laughs> and so I photoshopped the girl from up on Poppy Hill onto that <laughs> that's cool yeah the background from nice. that so. You put like headphones on her and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the the movie is actually set in like the forties or something mm -hmm. like that. So there's no way that she would have headphones. headphones. But yeah, so <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, I thought that headphones was part of it. That you Photoshop that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's sick. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it kind of so that the, the wire like doesn't the, go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like the girl mm -hmm. from that. But that's cool. That's cool. I know we're like talking about it, no one knows. Like, yeah, no you have to kind of see the link that, yeah, that we the link. have in the show notes. Amazing. But um, yeah. Good job, Kahai. Yeah, so um, those were like interesting chords that you yeah, chose. Well, it, after aside you from the, the one six yeah. four five, what else did you what else did you do then? No, I, I stuck to that pretty really? much, and it's like seventh chords. Mm -hmm. oh. So just adding seven the seventh onto it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like uh, not really dominant sevenths, but just mm -hmm. straight sevenths, and then some mm -hmm. inversions. But then I did do a thing where it's like, I, for kind of like the breakdown section, mm. I wrote a whole part out. And even for the that other part too, and I just like chopped it, right? Like chopped it into where it will repeat section one, like part way through, and then it will repeat it the whole way through and then repeat it part way through and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I really wanted to make it sound like, you know, that, yeah, like chill hop music where they nice. find old, uh, like, you know. Uh, jazz songs or yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then just kind of loop so, yeah. and sections. And, and a, a lot of chopping, right? <laughs> yeah, I have like, to listen to that again. That's a yeah. sick song. It, it, That's my favorite. It kind of <laughs> reminded me of, like, there's that one song from Toy Story. Which one? Right? There, the, there, it's like an instrumental song from Toy Story. Like one of the themes from Toy I, Story. I can't get... Do, 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 do. I can't get that. <laughs> I've been playing Kingdom Hearts lately and it's just like, that's all I hear in that, in that game. What, <laughs> was it Toy Story? I think it's Toy Story. But I don't know, it just reminded me of Pixar. Mm -hmm. Kind of. That, like cool, a right on, guy. Good Pixar, job, buddy. So. I love that. I, and, and in fact, like I even that, that first part, uh -huh. you know, where it's like really 50s, 60s yeah. music. Like I at first I made it where mm -hmm. that was gonna like each of the parts were gonna mm -hmm. be replaced yeah. by different fifties like you know or by the the chill hop stuff oh mm -hmm. like slowly so, merge it into yeah so like at my first iteration of that was like mm -hmm. where it started off where everything is you know that fifties song mm -hmm. and then it had the fifties bass and the fifties uh, piano. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then the the chill hop drums going, oh, you know, yeah, and then yeah. it was like the chill hop drum uh, and bass, and mm -hmm. then you know that the still the fifties piano. But I, I kind of liked it better when it just like cut off. And if you listen to it, it, it like it's kind of a count, 
into it yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. with the hi hat, like where it's one, two, three, four. Because uh-huh. it goes from like kind of a. Uh, it's still in four four, but it has that three, you know, the triplet, the mm-hmm. triplet, triplet, triplet. So it goes from that to like straight four four. Yeah, yeah, I guess mm-hmm. triplet. Yeah. Yeah. Like a twelve eight. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 so. a triplet is like a quarter beat triplet, so the three quarter notes fit in the two beats. Like one, two, three, four, five, mm-hmm. but it's actually one, two, three, four. Yeah, cool. you could yeah. count it either way. Yeah, either way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool beans, yeah. man. Right on. All right. Here we go. We have Aaron, the voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at your lyrics and My stuff. Lyrics. I want to be. Yeah, I kind of. You know? <laughs> I did it. I did it like. Um, mm. it, I I really kind of went with the. 1950s, mm, 1950s okay. like 50s and 60s, because 60s was more like doo wop, right? Like that. Mm-hmm. Frankie oh, Valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's so yeah. sick. <laughs> that's so sick. I'm always impressed. <laughs> I, I feel like that should be a song in Back to the Future. <laughs> like the, the, the when they go to like the prom or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aaron went Back to the Future. The so like, song from an earlier. Well, I, like, I, I really love like 1950s and 60s mm-hmm. music. Like when I was in middle school, like that was pretty much all I listened oh, yeah. to. Yeah, and then and then after that, I just branched mm-hmm. out and did all. Um, mm-hmm like listen to all kinds of stuff but during that time it, that was like you know when i was learning music it was mm-hmm. really good because it was simple chord progressions mm-hmm. easy to figure out and i was really into it mm-hmm. so it was like that's kind of what progressed helped me nice. progress as a musician as a so like, wheelhouse so yeah, <laughs> yeah i was really wheelhouse. like you know i started listening to old like buddy mm-hmm. holly yeah. and like a bunch of that cool. frankie valley stuff just um just to get inspiration mm-hmm. and then i don't know i always like that that's one of those things where like I I really tried not to add anything mm-hmm. that um like any influences beyond 19 Yeah, yeah, you kept it there. Yeah. You know like <laughs> because because music mm-hmm. any music that's created now is always influenced by things that we've heard in the past and that's that's kind of like I I always noticed that with um you know like movies that are supposed to be set Mm-hmm. Or especially musical movies that are mm-hmm. supposed to be set in a certain time period, 
-hmm. like they tend to have like they'll do vocal runs they'll do like bass runs that are (laughs) from the 80s but it's supposed to be in the 60s you know and it kind of throws it off so like i Mm. tried my best to like just don't (laughs) <laughs> like, like erase the part of your memory that mm. knows like what what all you know beyond what that, you, yeah. the rhythmic sound mm. like and like influencing the music yeah. so Keep i tried it to pure, i guy. tried a music as, as best as pure. possible so i had like a mm. bunch of lyric um combinations that i was gonna throw in there mm. but then i i i thought about them kind of hard and thought like, like that would they use that yeah yeah, yeah. that's kind of a phrase that mm. kind of became it's more not, popular in the mm-hmm. 70s so i wouldn't use that or mm-hmm. like you know or it's, it's like a turn of phrase that you mm-hmm. wouldn't use at that mm-hmm. time so i tried my best but i don't know i didn't grow up in the 50s so. <laughs> it sounds good man yeah. i mean it's it sounds pretty it sounds pretty like, true yeah, I like tried true to, to, yeah. yeah. True and then to and it was like um it was kind of like mm-hmm. they did they in their songs they were suggestive mm-hmm. but they weren't explicit mm-hmm. you know about like whatever mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whatever they were talking about yeah and so Things, like, holding hands <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 so like it, it was kind of mm-hmm. it was kind of suggestive mm-hmm. but not explicit yeah. and so i tried to t- try to yeah. keep it that i way think too. i think you you had like a like a simile or like a metaphor in your song and when i like hear, heard it i was thinking like oh yeah that is like something that they would use <laughs> because <laughs> they, it's like there's kind of metaphors or things in modern songs right Mm -hmm. where it's like easy to understand it's like oh yeah yeah i totally get it because of now like i live in the present Mm -hmm. but that's definitely like not something they would use you know whatever like oh i I texted you this or whatever can't use that yeah (laughs) yeah one of my favorite examples is um from that thing you do Mm -hmm. you know so like the 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 drum part is definitely from that 1960 thing but then as soon as the they start singing mm-hmm. it sounds like somebody from the 80s trying to sing mm-hmm. 1950s mm-hmm. stuff you it's like it's like really you doing that thing you do it's like very like <laughs> yeah like that sounds like the intro to um saved by the bell instead of kind of whack and yeah yeah it's like very like <laughs> kind of mm. like macho this kinda. guy keeping music pure right. keep it in the 60s <laughs> so like so i would like i always imagine like mm-hmm. say if the beatles had sung that mm-hmm. song it would have been like more choppy like like you doing that thing you do yeah yeah instead of like too enthusiastic right in front yeah yeah instead of <laughs> into a million pieces it would, it would have been like yeah. two a million pieces like yeah like very like always do kind of straight you know yeah, pretty straight we we're, we we're kind of talking about this yeah, before we like started that. the show right <laughs> yeah where yeah. i i said like all right we we're talking about why it kind of sounds that way mm-hmm. and i was saying that like a lot of times with those the that era of music like the guitar and the bass and every everybody's kind of playing rhythm you know no matter if they're an actual rhythm instrument or not mm-hmm. yeah yeah and it's just because like or uh, like i think they looked at it and the reason why they think it's like that is because like if you go into a recording studio mm. it's not like they could separate you know yeah like, so that's yeah. why we yeah. were just looking up like multi-track recording mm-hmm. didn't wasn't even didn't even exist until 1955 mm-hmm. and so when you're crafting your song you're thinking about like everybody in the band is going to be in the same room and, Doing and it's going to have like one mic yeah and we have to like place people mm. at the right distance from the mic <laughs> yeah and so it's like it, you know your your bass lines are gonna mm. be really simple because it just has to drive it and it's not gonna yeah. take the spotlight. You can, you're not gonna hear that. Mm. Or or even like we were saying like those '50s bands. A lot of times you would see right like upright bass, or yeah, like contra bass, yeah. instead so of like bass cut. guitar. Yeah, so it's more toward, like more that boom 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 mm-hmm. that kind of heartbeat mm-hmm. instead of like the notes themselves. Which is kind of funny for my song. I use electric guitar for the 1950s 60s <laughs> part uh, jink, jink, and then oh. i use the upright bass for the, the oh, yeah, you switched it. yeah. yes not yeah. on purpose though, i mean cause... like you know they had um they had electric guitars back in the 50s and stuff yeah and telecasters were a big thing yeah yeah and and actually um the reason why in the 80s singers sang with that kind of gusto mm. or that kind of nasally gusto mm. is because electric guitars became more 
powerful at、oh, in the eighties,、like, and so to,、uh, so singers、fun. had to yeah in、mm-hmm. for their live shows, the singers had to like kind of position their、really、you know squeeze the yeah、uh, like、energy yeah get the energy like、mm-hmm. directly into the live mic、mm-hmm. in order to to do that, and then when they recorded, they had to re- replicate what、mm-hmm. they did in their、mm-hmm. live shows. So, what about "Oh Darling" by the Beatles? Oh, oh darling. <laughs> <laughs> Please believe me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty straight in front, but yeah, I think yeah. that's later. That's like a later、uh, and let it be, I believe, and, and that's that, that album. It's a little bit later on. It's kind of it's interesting though that like it really is like a limit of technology or like just where technology is. Yeah, you can yeah. see as a direct reflection of music too,、mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Like where it's just like or even like. One of the big things in the eighties was like that gated snare, right?、Mm-hmm. And the、mm-hmm. only reason, like, the only reason why they found that or figured that out was because they finally got like studio mics that they could talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, like if the person、yeah. producing the song、yeah. and then the person like the musician well, is in front、that. of the studio. Yeah. <laughs> no,、oh, no, it was an accident actually.、Mm, yeah, yeah, gated snare. Yeah, it was like that overhead mic、mm-hmm. that they just used to like talk to each other, and then they're like. Oh, this snare sounds awesome! Yeah, like, <laughs> was it? Like, it was that Phil Collins album, right? Yeah, yeah. or it was uh, or, it, uh Genesis.、Album? Genesis, yeah. And then、yeah. Phil Collins just like, I love this.、He、I'm gonna use it. it. <laughs> and then it, it became the sound of the '80s. That's cool. Yeah, that's and, cool. And now, like you know, that kids who grew up in the '80s hearing that,、mm. and they're all making music now.、Mm. They're all like, Oh, I'm gonna bring back what、yeah. I knew from the '80s. <laughs> It's very true. Yeah. 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 So, All right, so、uh, that was our challenges, guys. We'll present you guys with a new challenge next week as we also announce the、uh, announce the the winner of the、um, of this、uh, this time's challenge. I don't want to say this week's challenges, but this、uh, this edition of、uh, do, of the challenges.、Huh? Uh, do we want to do a new challenge? Really, we'll do it next or, week. We'll do it next、okay. week. We'll give people kind of like you know a、uh, little bit more time to do、yeah. this week's challenge because、okay. I don't want to do a new one and people are doing like two at the same time and stuff. So. Right on, guys. It's um, it's it's always a blast. We always have a blast doing these tunes. It's like, yeah, I know I wrote that song like a, a week ago, and I'm like, I don't need like a second verse. My daughter loves <laughs> like just one <laughs> just, verse of it. It's it's all good. It's most of your kids and stuff, and you know, and seeing Kahai get you know more and more creative with his、uh, with his work, and seeing Aaron just. Kill it, you know, with, with every song that he writes, and just <laughs> putting a lot of thought and effort into like into what he does.、Uh, It's like some examples that you guys and that we wanted to give you guys what you guys can do with just a, you know a few simple chords. You guys can come up with some pretty awesome tunes. Definitely check out like the people who submit、mm-hmm. to our members who submit、mm-hmm. right in the forum. Yeah, so you guys can get more ideas. Because even like I was saying, like I would listen to Daniel sing about math all day. <laughs> like I would buy that album in a heartbeat, just like ah.、Oh, But、uh, you should just make a. Make a bunch of more chill hop stuff, and I'd buy that album. <laughs> I、uh, yeah. love chill hop, man. <laughs> yeah, it it's pretty fun, and then it's like <laughs>、uh, until you get or like for me, it was like hitting that like、mm. I don't have a melody line for this. <laughs> What am I gonna do?、So. I um. I like that. There's a there's a band called the Cookies. I think I've、yeah. I told you before where the singer sounded like um, what's her name from、uh, Garnet. From you got it, but what's her like? What's her actual name? What's her actual、uh, name? Not to <laughs> tell someone, someone else. But、um, sounds just like Garnet, and then there's this nice, cool little chill hop vibe underneath it, and then she's like rapping about rules from the concrete. Not the Tupac song, the Tupac <laughs> concrete, but it's a song by the Cookies. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah I love that song. <laughs> okay, so that pretty much does it. We are、uh, past our time here.、Uh, Thursday live lesson. Thank you so,、uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for downloading this as a podcast. Make sure you check out ukuleleontheground.com if you want to learn how to play the ukulele. Sign up for UU Plus if you want to take your ukulele skills to the next level, including private lessons, song lessons, song tutorials, and、um, just many more. We have guests, you know, we have guest teachers. We have、uh, improvement systems. We have all these awesome resources you guys,、uh, you guys can use, just like the、um, the make your own、um, circle of fifth. You know, like a thing that you know we just we showed you earlier.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, what else are we offering here at Ukula on the Ground, Kai?、Uh, we have like, well, like for the printout stuff, we have like a beginner chord chart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have like a lot of diagrams or me- like all musical、yeah. notes and stuff.、That's、so stuff that you need, you know, like, and you can also print it out, take it with you to your,、mm-hmm. you know, to your ukulele clubs and stuff. You can laminate that, I, you know, that、uh, that chord, like chord chart and whatever that you know that、uh, that we have there. Yeah, there's been a couple people who say like, oh, I organize my club or I'm,、mm-hmm. you know. One of those people is like behind the scenes. 
can I just print out your thing for cool. all the members of a club? And mm. we're always like, yeah, sure. Yeah. No problem. So it's so. always awesome. So make sure you check that out. It's Aldrin Guerrero. Stay tuned for the one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Is there anything else that you guys want to bring up? Tomorrow, right? It, isn't the song coming out tomorrow? Because uh, it's the first oh, of yeah. the month. So oh, yeah. So tomorrow, new song first, tomorrow. Yeah, new song month. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's Joey. Yeah, Joey yeah. is. Uh, we're gonna bring back Joey Charles for tomorrow's song. It's um, the chords are a little bit difficult. I'm not gonna lie because uh, we picked the key, which is you know uh, that Joey wants to sing the song, and it was a little bit tough. But you know, it's it's a great chance for you guys to learn some uh, some new chords or new ways to hold you know old chords and stuff. So make sure you check that out. New lesson tomorrow, classic song. I'm gonna say classic song, Joey. Yeah, Joey did a pretty good it's job. It's classic too. Kind of, a, kind of a remix. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Cause it's, it's uh, a, um, yeah, we have. Yeah, you'll see yeah, why. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so check that yeah. out, guys. We'll see you folks next time. Have a great one. Aloha. <laughs>